So today is the big day, the final day of my 30 day challenge. I set out 30 days ago to live full time in a tiling window manager of my choice and to use only terminal based applications and command line based applications where I could. And you know what, even on day 30, the final day of this challenge, I'm still discovering new and cool terminal based applications. Um, what is in store for me uh, after day 30? Am I going to go back to maybe using a floating window manager again? You guys know I love OpenBox. Am I just going to give up on using all these terminal based applications? Go back to using all the graphical applications I was using before? Let's discuss that. <laughs> So day 30, even on day 30, I am still finding really, really cool applications that quite frankly, I didn't know existed. Uh, one such program earlier today, reading the internet and I came across Piano Bar. What is Piano Bar? Well, from the Arch Wiki here, Piano Bar is a free and open source console based client for Pandora. I love Pandora. I'm a Pandora user. Have the app on my phone. Use it all the time at, at the gym. I even use it a lot on my desktop. There is a graphical Pandora client that I use uh, called Pythos, which is really nice. But you know what? Do you really need any kind of GUI to listen to Pandora? I mean, you could just start Pandora in the command line. I mean, command line applications for something like this really make sense. You don't need a, a full-blown GUI. You don't need a GTK app to listen to Pandora. So, Piano Bar. I went ahead and installed it since it's in the Arch repos. Let me uh, go ahead and launch it here. So, I'm going to open a terminal here. Piano Bar. If I can type it. It's auto-logging me in and it's going to start playing 80's pop radio. Let me kill that. Close My Eyes by Lita Ford. Very cool song. So that was 80's pop radio, my favorite station on Pandora. I've got it auto set to always play the uh, 80's pop radio station. What you do is there is a piano bar config file. You put your username in it, your password in it, and if you want to auto start a particular station, you need the station ID number. Uh, to get that number, go to pandora.com and just log in to pandora.com. Play your favorite radio station in pandora.com and you'll see in the URL it'll have a station ID number. Put that in the piano bar config. Very simple config file. Three or four lines is really all you need to write and then you have a very nice Pandora client in the terminal. Uh, I actually wrote a little shell script so that I don't even have to open the terminal and then type piano bar. It just opens the terminal and runs piano bar automatically. So have that hot key. Oh. That's not the hot key I have. That's the hot key I have. And of course, it's going to start playing 80s pop radio. That was Don't Stop Believing by Journey. What an awesome song. Anyway, I listen to a lot of 60s, 70s, 80s music. Grew up in the 80s, so the 80s is my particular favorite decade of music. Pretty much anything past about 1992 is garbage. Uh, music really died in the early 90s. Anyway, what are some other uh, terminal-based applications I've come across here in the waning hours of my 30-day challenge? So I came across a really neat command line interface to Mastodon. You guys know I recently deleted my Facebook account and my Twitter account and signed up over on Diaspora and Mastodon. And Mastodon, there is a really nice command line application a command line interface to Mastodon. It is called Toot. Uh, it interacts with the Mastodon social network from the command line and it's in some repos but pretty much the way to install it is to use pip. Uh, let's see. Where is pip install toot? <laughs> so you may need super user privileges so you may need to do sudo pip install toot since it's a Python package. So pretty easy to install on everybody's distro. And let me get to my desktop and we'll play around a little bit with Toot. I haven't played with it much, but if I just type Toot, it'll give me a list of commands here. For example, Toot login would log be a way to log into Mastodon uh, here at the command line. Um, toot log out, of course. Toot who am I, Toot who is. Uh, toot post, 
toot upload, toot follow, toot unfollow, toot mute, etc. And I, I believe there is also toot curses, which is a in curses uh, interface to Mastodon. And this is my Mastodon account here. <laughs> I guess it's showing me some recent uh, activity on my Mastodon account. Let me quick quit that. But if I wanted to do, do a post right now, I could toot post and then this is a test post for the toot command line program. Uh, I probably needed to wrap that in some kind of quotes. Yep. And I just posted that to Mastodon. If I wanted to look at that on the web, of course, this is going to open up in my Lynx web browser, but uh, let's see. Am I not signed in? I'm not signed in, but trust me, that post is there. You know what? I'll go ahead and launch my graphical web browser just to uh, show you guys. I already have it launched anyway because we were looking at the GitHub page for Toot. Let me go ahead and go to my Mastodon page here. We'll, we'll break the rules a little bit here on day 30. Yep, this is a test post for the Toot command line program. All right, you know what? There's no reason to have that there. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. <laughs> anyway, so that was a little bit of what you can do with Toot. Really nice command line interface to Mastodon. So that is the end of my 30 day challenge of living in tiling window managers and using only command line applications and terminal based applications where possible. But you know what? It's not the end. Uh, I'm actually grown pretty comfortable in this. I, I don't really miss anything that I was using before. I really didn't give up anything. I mean, I replaced some stuff, but for the most part, uh, a lot of these terminal based applications are better or at least faster than some of the graphical applications I was using anyway. At, at worst, some of them were just lateral moves. You know, they're just as good as what I was using. Uh, none of them, you know, really hold me back in any way. Um, the only ones that are a little tricky at first, you know, living in something like Vim for a text editor or a terminal-based text editor, uh, that takes some some practice, some getting used to, because there's a big learning curve for something like Vim. But for the most part, like your terminal-based file managers, like Ranger, uh, let me pull up my desktop here again. You know, you know, there's nothing wrong with using, you know, terminal-based file manager here. It's it's just like a GUI file manager for the most part. Uh, some of the the Lynx web browser, which I already showed you guys, you know. If I'm not viewing video, especially, uh, I, I have no reason to use something like Firefox or Chromium. They're kind of bloated if all I want to do is, say, read some of the latest distro releases here on distrowatch.com. I don't want to have to launch Firefox and have it suck up all my system resources, you know, just to, to view a simple text page. So this marks the official end of my 30-day challenge of living in a tiling window manager and using terminal-based applications, but it is not really the end. I'm going to continue living in uh, Qtile and Xmonad here on my main production machine. Uh, particular, in particular, Qtile. You guys know I, I really love the Qtile tiling window manager. I don't know why more people don't know about it. It's been around for a number of years. I've actually used it on and off for a number of years. And most people, when you mention it on the internet, you know, on Linux forums, have never heard of Qtile. When you do a search for Qtile on YouTube, with the exception of a few of my videos, there's not much out there on YouTube about Qtile. Nobody knows about it, and I, I don't know why, but I am going to just take up that mantle. I'm going to be a big proponent of the Qtile window manager. Uh, you guys that are looking for a easy to configure tiling window manager that's got really good documentation, check out the Qtile window manager. So am I going back to OpenBox? Am I going to go ahead and install an OpenBox session on this machine? And you know what? I'm going to leave OpenBox alone for a little while, even though I'm a big proponent of OpenBox. You guys know my channel, my YouTube channel has kind of become synonymous with me being an OpenBox fanboy. 
But you, and I'm, I'm still going to do some stuff on OpenBox on the channel, but on my main machine, I'm not going to install an OpenBox session, you know, because I really want to continue on this tiling window manager journey. Uh, 30 days was not enough. Uh, the 30 day challenge, not nearly enough to discover all the things you can do with a tiling window manager and with living in the terminal. Uh, really, this needs to be more like a six month challenge. And that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, you know, long term, again, three months, maybe six months. Now, I'm not it's not going to be an official challenge where you guys are kept up to date, you know, on a daily or weekly basis over a period of time. The challenge is over. I did the 30 days on the channel, but you you will get content. Uh, I will still do content on the tiling window managers I'm using, how I configure them, uh, cool apps that I discover, especially command line apps, terminal based applications, because there's so many more. Even on day 30, you know, I just discovered two apps that I didn't know existed, Piano Bar and Toot. Uh, Piano Bar, I'd never even heard of. Uh, Toot, of course, I didn't know about Toot because I wasn't a member of uh, Mastodon until recently. So I just signed up for Mastodon uh, not even a week ago. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to continue with the content, but the challenge is over. Anyway, before I go, I do want to give a special thanks to my patrons, all my Patreon supporters, A.K. Ron, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Matt, Darkwin, Mark, Christian, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen, Marcus, Interceptor, Bob, Lior, Omar, Silvio. You guys are awesome. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs>